for um, the next speaker, we have Pearl Chinta from India. So Pearl is also a worship leader in her local congregation, and she's also a Sunday school teacher. And the topic that she's going to share with us is in Christ. So over to you, Pearl. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for introducing me today, uh, Xiao. Uh, how are you all doing today? And thank you for the amazing message that you've given, uh, Dom. Thank you for reminding us that we need to love ourselves to love God and others as well. Um, so today, I want to talk about my topic for the day is in Christ. I believe, can we go to the next slide, please? Yeah. Okay. I, I believe as we are growing up, we have different phases in our lives. As children, we were carefree, not knowing much of the world. However, as we progress in life, we become more aware of the world changing rapidly around us, right? And so with this, we're stuck with three thoughts in our head. Sometimes we might feel incompetent, looking at others' finances and education or beauty or talent in the church. Sometimes we might feel imperfect, looking at our own mistakes and feeling less than. Other times, we look at the huge world around us and feel insignificant. Can we go to the next slide? Think, thoughts like, I'm alone in this world, always creep up. We sometimes look at the big world around us and feel that we're unable to change even our bedroom. How can we bring about change in this world? Can you relate with me when I say we struggle with these three thoughts? Can you relate with me when I say that we all, we probably all um, struggle with these th th three thoughts, right? So let's talk about each of the points. Sometimes we might feel incompetent and weak when we look at some of our peers who we think are better than us. We might feel we might never be able to match up to them. But upon Paul in 2 Corinthians 12, 9, can we go to the next slide? says, in my weakness, God's strength is made evident. God's strength and glory is going to be revealed in and through us. There is strength in being weak in the sight of the Lord. In God, we are the salt of the earth. The same salt that is made up of dirt and the waste in our world, when it goes and mixes into the water and joins into the sea, there's an interesting chemical reaction that takes place. And then it becomes salt. But as we all know, salt is one of the most important ingredients in our day-to-day -day life. But that salt is made up of the worst useless waste. So now what we can learn from here is the world chooses the best to bring out, a, uh, out the best in them. But God chooses the worst to bring the best out of us. Secondly, we might feel we are imperfect. We always make mistakes. We can't seem to do anything well. But the scripture says that God demonstrates his love for us in this, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. While we were still sinners and broken, we were precious to God. God found us so very precious that he came to die for us. We find it difficult to accept our imperfections, but God accepts us even in our broken state. How beautiful is that? That even when we are not able to accept ourselves, God doesn't have any problem, any uh, yeah, hindrance to love us however we are. And so through his affection, we are perfect. And the third thing is we might feel insignificant. Imagine if you're in a big city like New York or London or Tokyo, we might feel like we're no one sometimes. In Second Chronicles, it is written, for the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is loyal to him. God chose us, you know. And in order to choose us, he went first to North America, and then the South America, and Europe. He came to Asia, he searched in Russia, China, Japan, Middle East, and then 
he came to uh, your country. Then he went to different cities, and then he came to your city. He went to various places in your city, and then he came to your place to choose you. The Bible says God has chosen us before the foundation of the world in Christ. You and I are handpicked of God, as we can see in Ephesians chapter one verses one to fourteen. We are so significant that God searched the entire world to bring you and me together into His kingdom. To conclude, let's go back to the points we discussed. We might feel incompetent sometimes, but let us remember that in our incompetence, God's strength and glory is made evident. Yeah, can we go to the next? The last slide. in our incompetence christ's strength and glory is going to be revealed we might feel imperfect sometimes but god accepts us according to his affection and not according to our perfection in his affection we are perfect our imperfection was done away in christ's affection we might feel insignificant sometimes but as that let us remember we are significant so much so that God searched the entire world to find you and I. Our insignificance, uh, our insignificance is an illusion because we are handpicked of God. In Christ, you are competent. In Christ, you are perfect, and in Christ, you are significant. I hope this message blesses all of us. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. I will. I give it back to you. Thanks, Pearl. Again, what a wonderful reminder of who we are in Christ. It's not about how we feel. It's not about the people around us. It's not about how we compare or measure up to our peers. It's who we are, and we are who God says we are. Right? It's a wonderful reminder. Thank you.